we are stronger together and we can't leave anyone behind. Truckloads of furniture, household goods, and a lot more. They're all headed towards the home of an 11 year old boy. It's a story that is positively San Diego and our ABC tennis reporter Michael Chen tells us about a surprise home makeover fueled by an outpouring of support and a determined principle. It is delivery day and Christy Hunter Clark can barely contain her joy. <laughs> I felt like it was Christmas morning. For Hunter Clark, the principal at Choyas Mead Elementary in Choyas View, it all began last week at her school, where in-person learning is limited to a small group of kids, those greatest in need. She learned about a tired 11-year-old boy whose family had become homeless. Well, occasionally he would need to lay his head down and, and take a nap. And we were allowing for that. Hunter Clark then found out the boy's family of six had recently been placed in housing, but their apartment was empty. There was no bed. They had minimal blankets, pillows for the kids to sleep on. Hunter Clark's staff started a fundraising campaign for the family. Our children cannot learn without the basic needs. Hunter Clark herself appealing to her Kensington neighborhood on the next door site for donations to fill up a home. Her reasoning was simple. Her school, the students are all in it together. Because we are a family. We stick together. We are stronger together and we can't leave anyone behind. Overnight, hundreds of donations poured in. A couch set, four beds and mattresses, a TV, linens, towels, and a litany of household goods. Also, hundreds of dollars worth of gift cards for grocery items. Restored my faith in humanity to see everybody give whatever they have. On this morning, all that was given, loaded into trucks, and delivered. The family was just grinning from ear to ear. To a grateful family. We do things little by little together. We can make big things happen. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. Really more proof that those teachers are always looking out for their kids. They always have. Mm -hmm. We're very, very grateful.